Hi everyone. Okay, we have been painting so many flowers. We did our 30 day watercolor flower project. We painted so many favorites, so many beautiful flowers, but now they are just all over our desk, I'm sure. But we did end up with a beautiful watercolor flower guide. But now the question is, what do you do with the watercolor flower guide? Well, in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can take the flowers you've learned in your guide and create a beautiful composition that you will love using color, texture, pattern, all of that. So let's get started. We will be using our 30-day watercolor flower guide as a reference, but I also love both of these books. Flower Color Guide is a book full of flowers and it's color coordinated. Love that. These books are both by Michael Putnam. And then there's Flower Color Theory, which has floral arrangements, but it gives you the color theory that it follows to create those arrangements. So we're going to use that as part of our inspiration to create our own bouquet today. I have a five-step process to creating the perfect composition, and the first step is shape. I have a whole video on my YouTube channel that goes into more detail about my five-step process, so check that out. But really what I'm looking for is inspiration for the type of composition that I want. I'm looking at the different angles and the curves that are created by this bouquet, and this one really stood out to me. I love the lines, I love the height, um, and the angles with that main focal point. So I start with a really rough sketch um, to give myself a pattern to follow for the shape. So I definitely want the height over on the left with the main focal point being on the right center, and then the straight lines on both the left and right side. Step two of my composition process is figuring out the color. So I, I wasn't a fan of the color of that first composition, but this one really stood out to me. I love all of the pinks. I love the colors of green. So I found some pinks on my watercolor flower guide that spoke to me, not only because of the colors, but also because of the shapes they'll be able to create. So that was the hollyhocks, the peony, and the amaranthus. So the hollyhocks are going to give us that height on the upper left and we can use the peony as the main focal point and then the amaranthus is going to give us that drop down spiller texture on the side. So what I like to do is I like to put down the main color that I'm inspired by and then the darker accent color. So I ended up with a lot of different versions of pink and red and yellow orange with a nice sap green and a blue green. The third part is balance. So balance is everything. We know our focal point is kind of to the right in the center. So that's where the peonies are going to be. I'm also sketching in where the hollyhocks are going to be and the amaranthus. Just getting a good idea of where I want to place everything so that it feels balanced. This is a rough sketch. I don't actually end up following this exactly. But again, this whole guide is just to help us on our way to creating a composition, but you can definitely change things as you go. The next step is contrast, a very important step. You need to make sure you have big flowers versus small flowers, big leaves versus small leaves. You also need light tones and dark tones within your flowers and within the entire painting and textured versus smooth. Don't forget your thin textured bits as well as your nice smooth leaves and flowers. Then we have movement. We want to create movement in our piece so that it's actually interesting. I always start with thinking about where my focal point is and where I want the eye to move from there. Now we have a plan. So we are going to get started. I'm going to put my reference for my watercolor flowers over to the upper left. I've got my Winsor & Newton watercolor paints, 140 pound cold press watercolor paper, and my Polina Bright round brush size zero. We are going to start with the peonies because they are the focal point. And then I'm going to continue to follow my little guide here to the right. But mostly since we know how to paint these flowers, I wanted you to see the process in real time. So I'm going to turn on some nice pretty music and you can watch away. Let me know below if you have any questions and if this 
was an overall helpful study for you. Also, I will have the video linked that goes more into composition and the details of each of the five steps.
thank you so much for being here while we painted this beautiful composition. I hoped that the five composition steps that I shared with you were very helpful in figuring out how you can take everything you learned from the 30-day watercolor project, use your reference, and then create beautiful bouquets of flowers. That is my whole goal. That was the whole concept behind learning how to paint all of those beautiful flowers, being able to actually apply them in real life. Um, I really enjoyed painting with you today. I hope you enjoyed it as well, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.